pushed all the the care it just pushed all the monsters towards the rangers so that's that's basically what that did so all right so i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys saved the day uh batman was here as well he took care of that last berserker you guys get back to the town there's a big celebration the manor lord uh, pays you off and and magic items and power and wealth and everything else we got little ears but uh hold that's on it. Dave. I, I think i have some unfinished business at the uh, uh oh you do that we will have to uh we'll have to wait for another day on that all right everybody just use their imagination i'm sure exactly you need, do, you, do you need me to chaperone that <laughs> No, we just yeah, have we have the crowd, man. The we crowd. have Gigi, guys. So there you go. Gigi did a great job too. Gigi, this is your first time playing, buddy. Good job, man. Thank you. This was really fun. Did you have fun? You gonna play D and D again? Yep. All right. Well, if you got friends and stuff, you tell your friends that you can play a game, and if you can get all you and your friends together, I'll dungeon master a small game for you guys. All right. Okay. All right, so you all your friends can try it as well, and we'll have fun on a on a Sunday or something for one of these one shots again. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks guys. I appreciate it. I had a fun time as always, and I hope you guys did too. So, I'm gonna head down into the other channel. You guys are always more than welcome to hang out and team speak as well. So you guys are always more than welcome. It's pretty much a public team speak, and I hope to yeah. see you guys around again. And always, you know, when I do another one of these next week, uh, if I don't have enough new players, you guys are always more than welcome to join back in, and we'll we'll do the level four stuff because that's coming up hard. It's only going to get harder and harder and harder, so which is pretty cool. So, all right, guys. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, no problem, guys. See you Thanks later. for playing, GG. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet everybody. And I'll see Bye. you guys later. Bye. User disconnected from your channel. Ugh, I'm still thinking about. All right, guys. So that was cool. So Gigi's the uh, the young guy. Uh, his name is uh, Greg. And I told him if if Greg can get his friends together and if they want to play some Dungeons and Dragons, because Gigi had never played before. And uh, hey, I'll dungeon master a game for him and his friends, and then I'll I'll get my son in there too. So that'll be pretty cool. But I, I always enjoy doing these, and, you know, it's not so rules-heavy, so it's not like I'm doing my Thursday, Friday, or Saturday game, because I'm, I'm a lot more stringent on, on rules, so... Uh, but you guys understand that. You guys are you guys are cool with that. You know, like the, you know, the, the blast bouncing off of the wall, and, you know, all these, you know, warning all these people for opportunity attacks. Normally, I don't, I don't do that in my games. I just take, I just take opportunity attacks because my players, they should know this. So yeah. But I, I, I think it's good. I, I always like to get young people involved. I, I was Gigi's age when I started playing D and I, I was in fourth grade when I started playing. I remember, I remember, I just transferred to a new school. Uh, because of the area that I lived in was growing tremendously and we did not have a school built yet they were building our school so half of us were shipped north half of us were shipped south we were all shipped north but we actually had more people in that school than the actual area for the school was for so we had to be shipped south and I went to uh, a little elementary school called Coquina Elementary and these kids were out on the playground every day and I was there for a week already and these kids were fake sword fighting and playing dead and I'm going man this is pretty cool I wanna I wonder what they're doing so I went over to them and uh, I asked them what they were playing they said oh Dungeons and Dragons and I had heard of it but I had never played it so you know these kids are pulling out their character sheets with their with their stick figures drawn and their swords and their shield with their armor class number in it and I'll never forget that that's how I started playing D&D &D. and these same guys Terry and James and and Franklin and Gary I played with these guys for for 15 years up until my son was born back in you know back in 1996 1997-ish I played D&D &D with these guys so we had a long game we were playing basic D&D &D. we didn't make it to Immortal we made it to level 31 but, I mean, that game took 15 years. 
And but we played as kids. Oh my gosh, we played every day. I mean, on the pl- on the playground and in the lunchroom. On the weekends, we go to each other's houses and live there for the weekend. Like on Friday, my parents wouldn't see me until Sunday night. When I'd, when I'd get on the bus to go to school, they wouldn't see me again until Sunday when my mom would come and pick me up. So it was awesome. So I loved it. And that was back in 1984. So, But, yeah, it was uh, pretty awesome there, Raven. I, I, I like getting new, you know, new kids into the hobby because, I mean, it does need it. Get these kids off the computer games and use their imagination a little bit more so yeah it was fun I had fun doing it so alright so guys that's gonna be about it for me it has been a long week uh... the thursday game basically wrapped up uh... our season finale we are uh... gonna be on a break until probably august september and we'll start back up and that will be Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition in the Forgotten Realms. Now, my Friday game is going to be moving to Thursday. And when Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition comes out, uh, we will be starting with the beginner box set. And my Friday group will be my Dungeons and Dragons next group. So I will be playing D&D next. I've pre ordered all the books. And we'll be playing that on Thursday. Now, the 4th edition group, we get back together, they'll be moving from Thursday to Friday night. And then Saturday, the Dungeons & Dragons group uh, in the Nentervale, they are going to be continuing playing D&D Essentials. However, with them, they have the option to play D&D 5th edition as well. So that is up to them. If they want to play 5th edition for three months, that's fine, and then go back to Essentials. They can play two different games, and we'll just rotate them out. So, but, And then also, you guys, just like in the title, just like in the title, guys, Mike Merles from Wizards of the Coast is going to be in this channel. This channel, guys, that's amazing. So, uh, yeah, I, I've snuck on a couple times there, Twitch. Uh, but, I, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, man, I uh, I don't have any time, man, because I'm prepping for four games. And especially with my son down here, I, I'm not prepping on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, but All right. So, anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Don't forget about the Mike Morrill's interview on June 19th at 7.30 p.m. Do not forget about that. That is a big one. Yeah, just uh, follow the channel there, Raven, and then you'll know whenever I go live. But, I mean, you can even you can also scroll down, and there's a there's a schedule widget there that says the stream times, and it is accurate. So it's 7:30 to 12 on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then one to whenever on Sunday, and it's uh it's 8:30. So, but I didn't get started till two o'clock today anyway, so I was about an hour late. So it was a it was a fun fun uh time today. I mean it was level three. Now the group will be level four next time and there you go. Well, good to have you, Raven, and thank you for hanging out. And uh GG if you're on the uh if you're still on the channel, GG. Just uh remember, find you know, if if your friends want to play D D, you uh you get them set up with a roll twenty account and get them set up with uh Team speak, and I'll dungeon master a small game for you guys. So, and I'll do that on a Sunday for you guys, because it'll be on the weekend. You won't be in school or anything. And I'll have my son play as well. So, ah, well, thank you, Raven. I appreciate it. Always thank you for the follows. So that's it, guys, for me. Uh, sorry that the uh, the exp bot was not working today. Uh, hopefully, it'll be working next time I stream on Thursday. So. But anyways, guys, I think my son and I we're gonna go out and some, we're gonna go get some food. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go eat. Yeah, yeah, it's, we're hungry. So I'll see you guys later. And until uh, probably Thursday, let that be a lesson to you guys. And also, don't forget, follow the YouTube channel. There's a thousand videos. There's almost a hundred YouTube tutorials. There's gonna be a lot of Dungeons and Dragons Essentials tutorials, Pathfinder tutorials, D and D tutorials, uh, four, all kinds of tutorials. I've just got to get on there and do it. I'm gonna be adding an entire player tool section to the site, a dungeon master tool 
section to the website. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming. So, uh, green screen, man, it's going to be happening. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Don't forget to tell everybody about that Mike Merle's interview. That is like, that's huge, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.